So Brock Lesnar is going to be taking on Roman Reigns for Roman Reigns' WWE Universal Heavyweight Championship at Name Redacted in Name Redacted. And it is a big match. It's got a lot of elements of it, most notably the Paul Heyman element. Paul Heyman, of course, uh, formerly the advocate for Brock Lesnar. Now he is uh, an admirer, an acknowledger of Roman Reigns. And it's interesting to see what's going to happen, especially since Brock Lesnar returned. We've been waiting to see how this unfolds. One interesting note, Paul Heyman on Instagram, uh, he, he put out a post where he said, here's a spoiler for this Thursday. I will be leaving pay-per-view name redacted with the WWE Universal Championship. That's his spoiler. That's what he says. Trevor, what do you think about the way this has kind of been built up and and where this unfolds? Uh, I will be honest. I think I said this before. I was I'm, I'm sick of Brock Lesnar, but <laughs> this. This uh, particular this particular feud has turned out per- better than I better than I perceived it was going to be. Like I love the fact that uh, Brock was like, "Hey, I already signed that this morning with my advocate," and like stirred the pot a little bit. Like the whole thing is is turning out to be pretty much a pissing contest, and it's and it's fun. It's 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 been fun to watch so far, but I. I would be a little pissed if they let Brock win this match in name redacted and get the belt and get the belt. I, I don't think they believe I don't think they deserve to see that, especially since they're not really fans. But um I, I think this is a match you should save for American soil, honestly. Yeah, this is a match you should save for soil that doesn't have, you know, just overt human rights violations on. Although, I mean, it's, everything's subjective. Anyway, <laughs> political Omar aside. <laughs> Do you know the difference? <laughs> uh, buddy. But, um, anyway, so the – but the, but keeping it real, uh, the the – the reason that I think they've played this up, I mean, it's smart of them to do. It It was 100% the correct decision to play up the fact that Paul Heyman, you know, and the Brock Lesnar connection. That was 100% the right thing to do. Right. You, you, that way you kind of gaze that interest. You're, you're making it so that something at least matters in WWE, which it really has not a lot in recent memory. And you're able to kind of make it more, more, I guess, appealing to the viewer. And that's good. Those are all good things. Where, and and where you could go from this is very interesting now because you could do the thing, you could do a similar thing that was done in 2000 and what was it, 2002, 2003 with Paul Heyman, Brock Lesnar, and The Big Show. Except it would be on a much better, grander scale because of the fact that Paul Heyman, that, uh, sorry, Brock Lesnar, Roman Reigns, much, both of them much better than The Big Show. No right. No hate on uh B- on show, but no BS. Um, right. but but so you could do a similar angle with that, where Paul Heyman turns on Roman Reigns, and that could be um maybe a leeway to Roman Reigns' eventual heel uh, face turn, and him becoming yeah. the face of the company as a good guy, and then he could just be the badass Samoan that that we wanted him to be, you know, because he's finally compelling, he's finally moving merch as a heel, he is finally exactly. Exactly what he should have been in 2016, 2015, 2014 when they originally pushed him. So yeah. that so so the fact that so that's all coming together, and then Brock beats him with shenanigans from Paul Heyman. You build up to the to the big match. You build up to Roman Reigns versus Brock Lesnar at WrestleMania 30. What is it? 38 in Dallas, yeah. the place, the last place where Roman Reigns won a main a main event of WrestleMania. And against the person he's never beaten in the main event of WrestleMania, Barack, not Lesnar. Obama, Lesnar. Yeah, I mean, it's it would be great booking if they did it like that. You know what I mean? But like, who are we talking about here? And, and uh, you know, you really I, have I, no faith in WWE, do you? And uh, do you? <laughs> I have a little faith. I, I like to, I like to be hopeful. <laughs> I have faith that they'll let me down. <laughs> But no, I mean, in, in in all jokes aside, like this, I feel like in most in most cases when you they have gold, right? 
I feel like they find some way to fuck it up. Either the match isn't the match isn't sound, or like the uh, stipulation is garbage, or, or like the writing is so, something doesn't come out right. And this is one of those situations where you have gold. You definitely have gold. And the one, one they're already fucking it up by putting it on putting it in name redacted. And so what are the what, what's my, my my I guess my question is what's the cleanup? What's the next step after this? And you know damn well they don't think that far. See, see, now you're just being now you're just being unrealistic with with what you're expecting. You should not expect this company to think that far ahead. They oh, don't no, know. What I, I, I don't they, think they will. I'm just Vince curious. Man has not made up his mind. <laughs> Sorry, Vince McMahon thinks he's made up his mind about what's happening. You know, this Friday on Raw, he or on SmackDown. He does, he's going to change it. We all know it's an inevitability. It's yeah. going to change. These aren't – we're not playing by the same rules as we play with other promotions, all right? You have to you have to kind of live with the, with the within the bounds of what the reality is in WWE. And, and to steal a quote from Triple H, the reality is – this is how things work. Yeah, it is. I mean, like, the thing is, it's not that I believe that they should have a game plan – for going forward is just this is just the way I think. <laughs> you know what I mean? This is just how I think. I think it after this there should be a game plan. And it probably won't be. But that's just this is how I think and I'm just hopeful. That's all. So I, I mean I'm 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 genuinely curious though. I uh, so I'm genuinely curious. Like who do you think okay so we're not gonna mention the pay per view name around who who right. get who who gets out of this with the victory? Honestly, I th- I say Roman, but I don't think it's gonna go that way. Why do you say th- that? Well, how many? Well, it's only happened once, right? It's only happened once where a uh, a a title has changed at the place we won't mention, correct? Oh, I mean, yeah. So here's the thing, yeah. There was the Goldberg versus the Fiend, but that was like the most recent one with fa- that was the most recent one. That's right. the thing. So so they it could just be a thing where. It just happens, and you know, this Saudi yeah. blood money, baby. The Saudi yeah. blood money. Yeah, exactly. So, I mean, we you don't know. It, it could, it could happen. I mean, it, it definitely could, but I don't know. I don't know. I would say Roman, but I honestly believe that is a good possibility that Brock wins this. Yeah, I mean, I'm gonna go with Brock here because that's what my gut is telling me. That's what everything that they've done so far is, mm-hmm. is telling me. That's what logic is telling me. And look, I know this right. is the company that's not known to do the most logical thing every time, but I, I think th- they had to have made up their mind about this one. They had exactly. to have at this yeah. point. It, like the, This is an inevitability what's going to happen. Um, let's go to the chat real quick. That's also an inevitability. It's also an in- a- inevitability that you guys will hit that like button, help out the algorithm, subscribe if you haven't already, and hit that notification bell so you get notified whenever a new video is released. Let's go to the chat. Sophia says, I think Roman Reigns will take the belt after Brock from Reigns. Nani? Um, he will have a new prospect in to take out Reigns. Oh, okay. So there'll be like a new prospect to take out Reigns. Okay, cool. Gotcha. Like like a new person comes in. Okay, that's interesting. Bringing in Ridge Holland as Brock Lesnar prospector would be a great way to get Holland in Vince's next favorite wrestler. I don't see Holland. I, I, I would see someone like a Von Wagner or a Braun Breaker. Yeah, yeah. Or, or maybe a Gable Steve. I don't, I don't see. Yeah, no, I don't see that. Um, MK Osborne says, be great if he turned on both and brought out someone else. Trevor, I'm going to ask you this one, though. Who could he bring out though? Who who, who could that be? Who could that be? Who, who you talking about, Paul Heyman or you talking about? Yeah, who could uh, Paul? If Paul Heyman brings out like a new prospect, who could it be? Hmm. You got any ideas? I, I got an idea. Who else? But Saudi <laughs> Hogan <laughs> making it his real take return. Brother, 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 brother. brother. Nope. 
brother, brother, brother. I'm in, I'm over internationally, brother. It's brother. Everywhere except uh, brother. In, everywhere except where they care about people, brother. I'm over, brother. brother, uh, good, brother. To brother. good to see you back, Saudi Hogan. Good to see Saudi Hogan back. <laughs> no, actually, not good. Go away. Go, Go away. away, Saudi we don't Hogan. Want you Go anymore. away. No. Thanks for watching this video from Real Take Sports Talk. Remember to like, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell so you get notified whenever a new video is released. Also, remember to check out our live show every single Thursday at 8 p.m. right here on the YouTube channel. And remember, keep it real.